Yeah, but Ginger starts to pull forward and is continuing to pull forward as she approaches the Breen bags. They haven't slowed her down one bit and she starts to move forward and she's going over the line with no other pig over her shoulder at all. Pepper's in the middle and Pepper's going to need to win this. It is the sprint that she's looking for and she is pulling ahead now. Is she going to do it all the way to the line? She does. Where's Ginger? Ginger's behind the handicap. She's way back actually and now Pepper's taking advantage. She's way out here and only Swalls and Hoshi can catch up but they're not going to in time. Pepper crosses the line. Where's Ginger? She's last. Hello and welcome to the Season 3 Finals of League of Pigs. And what a finals we have in store. From the spectator's perspective, it's win-win from here. Either we see Ginger Hamilton be the first pig ever to defend the championship, or Pepper Sanchez pulls off one of the most spectacular upsets in pig racing history by claiming the championship for herself. We're probably going to see a proxy battle by Hoshi and Smalls as they try and get themselves on the podium. And I don't even want to talk about Bear's score because it's making me feel a little sick. So without further ado, let's head over to the first race of the finals. The first race begins and Smalls, Hoshi and Pepper get good starts here. Smalls is in front, but Pepper pulls forward here. But most notably, where is Ginger? Ginger's in fourth, I think, but Pepper's moving forward. Is Smalls going to take it? No, he's not. And Pepper gets another win on the sprint. Ginger cannot rely on Smalls and Hoshi to do her work for her. She's got to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the little one to see if she can break her on the sprint. Smalls is only bothered about podium at this stage. He's just going to try and keep ahead of Hoshi. You've run lightly to see any records from him in this finals. He knows he needs to save his effort for next season. So Ginger better wake up because already Pepper's dug into her lead. We join the pigs, flouting the rules once again by being in the garden on a race day. But it is the finals, so we should probably go easy on them. The tensions are high though. We've got Ginger and Pepper most notably separated from each other. Ginger looks calm as always. She's been in this position many times. But for Pepper, it's a different story. This may be her first and last chance to claim the championship. So the pressure must be at an all time high. Let's see how that translates on the track over the next few races. The door goes down and Peppa gets a fantastic start as she always does in this season. But she drops back and now the big three take over here with Ginger leading the charge. She's just staying in front now. Hoshi's trying to catch up and he's doing a not a bad job but it's not good enough. And Ginger goes over the line and Peppa gets fourth. So that means that it's eradicated the gains that Peppa made in the first race. And it's back to being 10 points clear of Peppa. Hoshi and Smalls have a proxy battle as expected. Hoshi this time gets one up on Smalls and that means they go back to the same points difference. So it's as if we've reset for race three. Let's talk about Piggy Smalls for a moment. Piggy Smalls won season one in spectacular fashion and he then went on to dominate the beginning of season two. In that time though, it became apparent that his weight was a key advantage and that didn't go down well with IPAC, the International Pig Athletics Committee and they ruled that Piggy Smalls must have a handicap inside the starting box. There was an amendment soon after that said that if he could get round the handicap before the pin is pulled, he's allowed to start with the others. But regardless, it still irritates Piggy Smalls fans to this day. It also caused a rift between Piggy Smalls and the league itself, and that's what you're seeing play out here. With all that said, it won't matter though, because the league has made it crystal clear that they won't bend to external pressure. So now the biggest question is, will Piggy Smalls overcome this new challenge? And if so, he could well become the greatest pig that ever was. Or will history not remember his name like so many others before him? The pin's pulled and Pepper gets a fantastic start as always. And not only that, she's extending forward and Ginger is in trouble here as she battles with Hoshi and Bear. She'll need to get second. Does she? I have no idea. We have to see what Race Radio says. She has got second. I don't know how she's managed to snatch that off Hoshi. She's only lost three points to Pepper, but she's playing a very dangerous game. Sanchez yet again shows what she's made of. Those starts are simply sublime. 
The way she manages to position herself in the box as it drops and gets the jump on Hoshi and Ginger straight away. Then that acceleration in the first few meters is something else. And that served her well throughout this whole competition. As a representative of the league, I try my best to stay impartial, but I must say that I'm losing patience with Bear this season, especially with the backdrop of Pepper doing so well. You must understand that Bear won all the national races in Russia, and we've seen her set records in the first two seasons, so it's not a question of if she can race, we know she can. It's more an attitude, and right now Bear's attitude is tantamount to a lack of respect for this league. Let's head over to race four. And off they go and Ginger easily gets the best start here but Pepper pulls forward and gets level with her but now she's dropping back and Ginger's starting to take over and move forward. Pepper doesn't have the speed but she's doing very well over the hurdles and that's her best performance over hurdles for a very long time and it only drops three points against Ginger. What's that mean? It means we're back again to the 10 point difference as if we never started the finals in the first place. Only Hoshi has made ground on small since the beginning of this round. He's now starting to get comfortable in that podium position. But the other two are neck and neck. And these last three races are going to be the queen maker here. But what's obvious is both of them want it desperately. Hoshi Oinku has been asked this week what he thought about the YouTube call to action. Hoshi was distinctly nonchalant and said that viewers should only subscribe if they felt like it. That is certainly different to what we've seen before from other pigs. But we have to remember that Hoshi's from Japan and they do things differently there. Let's head over to race five. The second to last race begins and Pepper's been caught off guard there and she isn't starting out in front. Hoshi is in fact, but no, Pepper's moving forward. Ginger's looking for second here, but Piggy Smalls goes in between the middle of them and he's going to push forward and get second. He's robbed Ginger of the second place. It is battle to get third on the podium has cost Ginger another two points. And now she drops five points against Pepper. That just shows how the politics makes it here. Piggy Smalls goes round the back out of his way to get between Ginger and Pepper and wedges himself in second, causing a rift between the two pigs. And it's gone towards Pepper's favour there. She'll have to thank the big man later on because for now she's one step closer. Let's take a moment to appreciate just how good Ginger is. She's been in the top two pigs for every single final. That's an achievement in itself. Not only that, the path to victory leans towards Ginger here. We've got two more races, one sprint and one set of high hurdles. She can't do awfully in the sprint and she just has to beat Pepper in the hurdles and she's won the competition. So let's see how that plays out over the next two races. The penultimate race begins and already you can see that Ginger's stuck behind the other three there and she's now going to have to claw back desperately to get ahead. Meanwhile, Pepper has to get first if she's got any chance here. Is she going to do it past Piggy Smalls? She does and she gets the win and Mexico's hope is alive right now. They've got her hurdles, which is an absolute nightmare for them, but it doesn't matter right now. They've won every single sprint in this season. Every other pig has been looking at each other, wondering who's going to challenge Pepper and they've left it to her. They've left it to her and she's taken every single point available. 140 points in sprints. And she's been allowed to have an opportunity by Bear who's not scored a single thing this whole season. What an unusual season we've had. If you want any evidence that greatness comes in all shapes and sizes, all you need to see is this pig and appreciate for a moment the position that she is in at this late stage in the competition. It's an incredible achievement and I'd like to take a few moments also to appreciate Pepper's team who've done a phenomenal job in the preseason. It was obvious that she's come back a completely different pig in all the right regards. Her sprinting is second to none and the effort she's done in non-sprinting has been a marked improvement as well. I personally am the most impressed I've been since the league began and that's saying something. Let's see the final race. The final race begins and Bear, Ginger and Pepper get out nicely but Pepper pulls in front here as they approach the first hurdle. They clear it but Ginger does not! Ginger crashes into the first hurdle and leaves a huge opportunity for Pepper to finish earlier and she's going to do it I think. Yes she does! And she wins season three. What an unbelievable upset to this competition. Pepper Sanchez and Mexico have pulled off one of the greatest upsets of all time and look at the others. I think they're looking at each other as if to say has this really happened? 
that we've been beaten by a pig that's half our size. Yes, yes you have. With the smallest pig on the circuit and the most underfunded race team there is, comes into this competition prepared with great tactics and consistency while all the other pigs were looking at each other. Mexico focused on what they needed to do and look how they prevail. Mexico should be proud of their pig, Peppa Sanchez, as she does them proud. Peppa Sanchez brings the season home on 191 points, but most impressively, she finishes with 15 first place finishes. 14 of those were sprints. She didn't lose a single sprint race. This is a performance we'll be talking about for a very long time. And she has proved everybody wrong, including myself. And so it is my honor to present to you the montage of our season three champion, Peppa. But the other three are in tow here. Piggy Smalls is looking to try and get round her on the near side, but she's not letting anyone go past her here. And she's going to get a fourth win. She does in a quicker time as well. Bonus bear as well, though, but Pepper pulls forward yet again. And is anyone going to have any answer to Pepper right now? I don't think it is. Pepper Sanchez continues her reign of dominance in the sprint. Here's the approach the first hurdle. They clear it, but Ginger does not. Ginger crashes into the first hurdle and leaves a huge opportunity for Pepper. And she's going to do it, I think. Yes, she does. And she wins season three. 